It's the face of a man whose roles on stage have closely imitated his life off it. A dad, a military member, a cowboy. His career as an actor has spanned decades and taken him around the world, but it started right here in West Texas. Oh, that's the whole base of it, the whole, the whole base of it. I learned everything I, I know pretty much uh, right here. Born about 60 miles south of Lubbock in La Mesa, Barry Corbin spent some time in Austin before returning to Lubbock, where he graduated from Monterey High School in 1959. If you ask him today, he's proud to call West Texas home, but that wasn't always the case. I had a map on my wall in my, in my bedroom of the United States, and I had an arrow drawn from Lubbock, Texas toward New York, and I wrote toward civilization. His path toward civilization started at Texas Tech University in the fall of 59. First year I was here, they, they were talking about changing the name to uh, Texas Tech University. A bunch of us got together and thought, technological and university don't go together. How can you have a technological university? Because by necessity, technical means one thing. So we, we thought it ought to be named something else besides Texas Tech University, but the Texas Tech University folks won. Corbin may have lost that battle, but on the stage, he succeeded. My first year here, I was a freshman, I got to play the lead in the imaginary invalid. I played an old rich guy who's being conned by all these charlatan doctors. The next year, I played Sir John Falstaff in Merry Wives of Windsor, big old fat character, and I weighed about 145 pounds when wet, so they had to make a big fat suit for me. And I had this red wig and red beard, big nose. He says his studies were focused only on acting. I'd read the plays and decide whether I wanted to go that semester or not. If, if I didn't want to go, if I didn't like the plays, I'd go work on an oil rig and maybe do a play at the community theater. Years later, Corbin would trade the West Texas wind for the Windy City. He also spent some time working in the Southeast, in New York and in California. His resume is long, more than 100 movies and TV shows, including Urban Cowboy, Any Which Way You Can, and War Games. Corbin's also appeared on Dallas, Lonesome Dove, Northern Exposure, and more recently, Modern Family and Anger Management. Every one of those roles, he says, is for us, his fans. I don't want to bother you, but can I, can I get your autograph? I say, uh, well, uh, if you don't bother me, if you don't come to me and ask for my autograph, next uh, month, next year, people in Hollywood are going to quit calling me because I'm not working for them, I'm working for you. Now 76, Corbin has no plans of slowing down. Yeah, keep working. <laughs> No, I, I've been so lucky in my career. I've been nominated for major awards, won some. I'm in several halls of fame, the Texas Film Hall of Fame, the Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame. When he's not working, you'll probably find him here at his one-bedroom house in a small town outside of Fort Worth. He always has a bag packed, he says, ready for that next job. And to those who dream of the day they get those same calls, Corbin offers this advice. Be sure you're prepared for more rejection than you, you've ever, you could ever imagine. You've got to be an infant inside, but you've got to have the height of a rhinoceros. During a recent trip to Texas Tech to speak at an on-campus event, Corbin reflected on how much is different. From the time I started school here in 59, uh, the change is enormous. But after a few trips to civilization and back? Well, I got to New York and they're no more civilized than we are. In a lot of ways, they're less civilized than we are. He finds comfort in knowing there are some things that'll always stay the same. Lubbock, Texas is as flat as a tabletop. And it has dust storms, sand storms. Uh, everything that grows here has got thorns on it. For Texas Tech Today, for better or worse, it's my home. I'm Allison Hirth.